right guys, well I am excited to show you what I'm about to do right now. Um, it is Friday, I just got off work. I'm actually in the back parking lot of uh, my workplace and uh, I wanted to do what I'm uh, about to show you here because there's a solid uh, parking uh, uh, surface here uh, as opposed to my house where I've just got gravel. So what I'm going to do, um, attempt to do here in the next few minutes, is basically uh, something that I think is probably the, it's probably going to be the most important thing I ever do to this van uh, in terms of safety. And um, when I bought this van, this is a 15 passenger church bus, church van, that I bought from a, a local church. And um, when I got the van, I really didn't do a whole lot of research in terms of uh, vans and I, I, I really kind of didn't know what I was getting into I, I not, not a bad thing but I just didn't understand everything and so one of the things that I've learned since the purchase of the van is that 15 passenger vans in particular and a lot of these type of Econoline vans have a higher chance of turnover um, in evasive maneuvers and steering and so um, I started researching and I came across a product that uh, r apparently really mitigates that uh, that danger and it's a uh, the Roadmaster active suspension and you can see these here uh, these are basically um, giant springs that go underneath the van attached kind of where the leaf springs are and help the van uh, stabilize in a uh, high turn uh, a turning procedure or even in wind um, it helps keep the van level and stabilized and uh, I spoke with the guys over there at Roadmaster uh, a gentleman named Will great guys over there and um, you know I wasn't even I was calling them just to make sure that I was getting the right part for the van for the Ford Econoline 350. It is the uh, 30, 3611, I think it is. I think that's the the model, and um, I'm pretty sure that's the model 3611. Um, but in talking with them, they were really interested in what I was doing, and um, uh, just uh, in full disclosure, we uh, struck up a a little deal where um, I would definitely do a video this video right here and show the installation and uh, kind of my feedback and uh, they would give me a small discount and um, uh, again it's a, a small discount they give me 10% off and um, in free shipping which I would have paid full price anyways but just to have that um, little extra um, helps saves a little so anyways, I'm going to give it um, a full review. I'm going to kind of do a bounce test and a, and a shake test on the van before I install it and then record that and then we'll kind of compare it. But there's some videos out there, in fact uh, one in particular that I want you to watch uh, as I'm getting set up here and uh, take a look at it, see what this uh, uh, Roadmaster active suspension can do and uh, it might be something that you might want to install on your van as well. So take a look at this video and I'll be right back. Just look at how the 15 passenger van compares to a regular van. On most models the wheelbase is the same, but you can see on the Ford and Dodge 15 passenger vans the back end has been extended. That means that when fully loaded there is a seat with four passengers behind the rear axle. That tends to make the back end heavy so that when there's a sudden swerve the rear end can swing out. The other critical issue is that the van is top heavy. It has what engineers call a high center of gravity. The more people on board, the more top-heavy it becomes. The GM van is a different design. The wheelbase is longer. Engineers say that lowers the chance that this van will skid sideways. But when loaded, the GM van is also top-heavy, much like the Ford and the Dodge. Now have a look at the van in which you or your family may be riding tomorrow. Since 1990, over 450 people have been killed and hundreds seriously injured in rollovers in these vehicles. Now, there is a revolutionary patented product on the market. 
Roadmaster Active Suspension, which when fitted to these vehicles will significantly improve road handling, load carrying, and safety. With a simple installation, the Roadmaster Active Suspension System will reduce the risk of rollovers. To prove how effective Roadmaster really is, extensive independent dynamic handling tests were conducted by the Transportation Research Center in Ohio. The TRC, as it's called, is used extensively by automobile manufacturers as well as governmental regulatory agencies. The vehicle chosen was a Ford E350 15-passenger van because it represents approximately 85% of all 15-passenger vans on the roads today. Prior to testing, the tires were inflated to the correct pressures recommended by the manufacturers. The van was fitted with front and rear 14-foot aluminum outrigger beams. Instruments were installed on the vehicle and were connected to an onboard computer that recorded all handling parameters. Fourteen water-filled dummies weighing 150 pounds each were strapped into the passenger seats and a professional test driver handled all the maneuvers. The first test performed is the double lane change at 48 miles per hour without the Roadmaster fitted. Now the same test also at 48 miles per hour, but with the Roadmaster active suspension installed. On the second run, the speed was increased to 52 miles per hour without Roadmaster. As you see, the van is totally out of control. The right front wheel has lifted. Now, the same test at a higher speed of 55 miles per hour with Roadmaster. Considerably more traction and control can be seen. The next maneuver is the fish hook, regarded as the most severe test for inducing wheel lift and loss of traction. Here's the first test of the fish hook maneuver at 21 miles per hour without Roadmaster. Notice the right front wheel has lifted. Now the same test also at 21 miles per hour, but with Roadmaster installed. Here's the second run, now at 23 miles per hour without Roadmaster. Frightening, isn't it? Both wheels are completely off the ground and the vehicle is dangerously out of control. This could indeed have caused a rollover. Now let's make that run at an even faster speed of 25 miles per hour, but with Roadmaster installed. As you can see, all four wheels are still on the ground, and the vehicle is definitely under control. Okay, so, um, yeah, if you were, saw that video, you know um, as much as I do how scary something like that could be to have uh, your vehicle roll over like that. So, um, all right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an install and um, I've never done this before. In fact, this is actually good because uh, taking off the wheels of the van uh, will make sure that I have everything together just in case we do travel, that if I have a flat or something that I can take the, the wheels off with what I have um, and I know how to do it. Um, also in the interest of safety, I'm always thinking in every situation, what is the worst thing that could happen right now? Um, that said, I think the worst thing that could happen right now would be, be, be under the vehicle somehow and the jack stand falls and I get pinned or crushed or whatever. So I'm going to do everything possible not to uh, be in that position. Uh, I don't actually have to even get underneath the vehicle as far as I know besides just putting 
the jack underneath there. Um, but for this whole procedure, I don't have to be underneath the vehicle. So anyways, uh, yeah, let's get started. I got the, my jack and all the stuff from the back of the van. And I'm going to start right now and uh, remove uh, the tire. Okay, well I think the hardest part of this whole procedure is going to be just getting the tires off. Um, I think one thing I learned so far in this is I need to have a socket that will fit on these lugs besides just the regular um, lug wrench um, to make it easier to get these uh, nuts off. So now it comes what I think is probably going to be the easier part. All right, so here is the Roadmaster active suspension. And uh, it's really quite simple and quite ingenious how it goes on. Um, if you can take the tire off, I think you can do this procedure. You place this way back here and it just hooks over nice and easy. Like that. And then this goes like this. And I probably want to take this piece off. All right, so we need to turn this because we need to extend this uh, out further. I wonder, actually, if it should go underneath this. I wonder if that's the way it should go. I think it is. All right, so we just need to extend it a little bit. So we have to hold that and turn. Just so it gets past the leaf spring area. All right, so what we've done here is we've put the, the hook down here. It comes all the way down and then the, the space, uh, the the spacer and the attachment goes right there. Okay, all right, the next thing what we have to do is we have been given uh, two little spacers. Uh, one is one millimeter and the other is two millimeter uh, thick. Um, the one, one millimeter gives 25 additional 25% additional load carrying capacity, load carrying, hand, and hand, for improved handling and 25% additional load carrying, use the white disc. So because we've taken so much weight out of the van um, and it's not going to be as heavy as it was before, we're just going to use this white disc here. And what we need to do is we need to adjust this um, uh, bolt here to stretch out the spring to, to expand the spring and then when, when we can fit when we can fit this white disc in we'll know we're at the right um, capacity in the right position so let's go ahead and do that okay so we got the we got it fitted where the white disc we got the spring extended where the white discs slide in and then all we do is we roll these lock nuts down and 
and just tighten it up. So really that's uh, kind of all there is to it. Now it's just a matter of putting the wheel back on and doing the other side. Again, the hardest part of this whole job was just taking the tires off. And uh, which is something I needed to try to do anyways, like I said before, just so I had the um, experience doing it with this van just in case for emergencies. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up, do the other one, and then uh, give it a test drive. All right. Okay, well it's been a couple of days that I've been driving around with my new Roadmaster Active Suspension and I uh, gotta say that uh, I can feel a difference and uh, it's been um, uh, actually I made a mistake when I was installing the, the suspension system um, I put when I put the jack stands underneath the van I put them underneath the axle which basically was pushing the tires up still. The tires actually need to be hanging loose um, when you're putting on the suspension. And so you really need to put the jack stands under the frame. And if, if I would have been really paying attention to the instructions like I should have been, I would have uh, caught that. Uh, but fortunately, didn't do it, uh, doesn't ruin anything. And so I actually took it over to uh, friends, uh, some great folks over here and they got, got it up on a lift for me and uh, we readjusted it and so uh, so it rides great and um, I'm really really happy with it and again I think it's probably the most important thing that you can probably do to a van especially a 15 passenger van for, for safety features um, and uh, I can tell when doing turns and and uh, uh, going around curves that it does seem much more stable. So I'm so glad that it's on there. Glad that, uh, uh, especially for, you know, uh, safety for my wife and when we drive, so. But uh, yeah, so I think it's gonna be great. And I, uh, again, I'll put some links in the description if you'd like to find out more information about it. Uh, the guys over there at Roadmaster are really great. So uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, we'll talk to you later.